All right, today we're going to take a look at some preventative computer maintenance that you can do yourself to maximize the life of your computer system. One of the main things that can affect the life of your computer is heat. So it's very important to occasionally clear out the dust and hair and other debris that can clog up the fan vents that otherwise keep your computer cool. I've downloaded this program called CoreTemp 1.0. It's a free download off the internet that gives you some information on the temperature that your CPU is run. And we see here we're running in high 50s, right around 60 degrees Celsius. The computer is under relatively low load, looks like pretty much under 10% load. I'm going to open up a few things and just to show um, what happens as you increase the load. I'm going to play this video, it's an HD video that I made. I'm going to move it off the screen onto my second monitor. I've also started also started a protein uh, computation program that runs in the background and then I'm also going to open up on the second monitor my music program and go ahead and start playing that. So we see now percentages have gone up <coughs> to between 70, 80, it's fluctuating percent usage. That shows how hard the processor is working. And also the temperatures have gone up, and we see now they're actually going into the yellow color over 80 degrees uh, Celsius. Now, if the temperature should rise even higher, the fans on most computers will kick on into a higher speed, and that hasn't happened yet, so probably uh, this computer is still cooling uh, properly, but because I can see some of the dust build up on the outside of the unit, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect all the wires, uh, the power wires, all the USB cables, the monitor uh, wires, and move the unit outside where I'll use some compressed air to blow uh, the dust out. I do see that the, uh, the protein molecule is slowing down there for a minute, so it's probably an attempt by the CPU to cut down the cycles it's running and, and maintain a lower temperature. Okay, so I'll see you outside. Okay, here we have the unit outside now. In case there was any doubt as to whether or not it needed to be cleaned, <laughs> I think we have the proof right here on the front bezel. We can also see how the dust has gotten sucked in to the crack here, here in the USB ports side of port, top fans, side here we can see side fan, and then the back is equally filled up with dust through all the vents and even on all the backing plates here. All this is restricting airflow. and. This is the power source down here. It's actually one of the few places that looks clear. That's where most of the heat gets generated. So we're gonna go ahead and remove these screws that are holding on the side panels. And there's four. Now your computer may be a little bit different. Some of them just snap with no screws, some of them you'll actually have to use a screwdriver. You see this side panel comes away fairly easy. Set this off to the side. And then the other one lifts out just as easily. Because this one's connected with a wire, we're gonna go ahead and just leave it attached while we blow it out be using compressed air in this air nozzle today. I have a compressor. If you're going to use a compressor you should be sure to kind of blow it out and make sure that there's no moisture in the line before you blow into your computer. There's also cans of compressed air or compressed carbon dioxide that you can use uh, to blow out your computer system also. 
I'm going to start by blowing out this panel a little bit, getting this dust out. At some point the compressor is going to kick on, it's going to get a little noisy out here. I'm gonna go ahead and blow out the inside of the case. Get off in the meantime. As you can see, there's quite a bit. debris being blown around. This is a CPU here. This top part it has its own fan. And then there's a math coprocessor here or something I'm pretending to know what I'm talking about. But those are high heat generators and have their own independent fans so we want to make sure that those are all cleared out. top off a little bit. We probably should have started there since we blew stuff back into the Make sure that that power supply is clear. All right, we're gonna let the compressor catch up with our blowing, and then we'll continue with the front bezel in a minute. All right, next I'm gonna try to remove this front bezel without breaking it. Now remember, your computer may come apart a little bit different, if at all. But this removes this main part right here that has dust, and behind it, we can see that there are two fans. They're also going to need to be blown out so that we can increase our airflow and keep all of our components inside the computer running smoothly. I'm not sure how well you're going to see this, but I'm going to blow it from here. Now we're going to come back from the inside.
All right, now we're gonna kick the compressor back on and let it catch up again. Probably thinking this is all pretty gross, so much dust in such a small place. The really gross part is that over 90% of dust is composed of hair and skin parts. All right, try to snap this bezel back on, make sure the wires down here don't get kinked. appears to be lined up so give it a little smack tap tap all right that appears to be back on <laughs> sky's getting a little gray getting a little nervous that it might start raining here in a minute Insert the screws. Now, a lot of times people will strip these screws if you realize that they're just there to hold it in place, not to hold it down, you won't strip them. All right, the other side. these two screws in. I'm gonna have to put the camera down. All right, with all four screws back attached, I'm gonna give it a final wipe down. Almost like new. Definitely in better shape than when we first came out here. Now we'll take it back inside, plug everything back in. Uh, most of the plugs will only fit one way. So it shouldn't be too difficult of a job. Possibly your microphone, headphones, and speakers. You might need to take note of the colors on that or how those are plugged in since they have similar ports. But USB ports typically don't matter, and the videos uh, can only fit, and the video and power can only fit one way. All right, see you guys back inside. So we're back in from outside, and it's always a great thing when you plug everything back into the computer, hit the on switch, and it starts like it's supposed to, and all your different devices are working. Okay, let's take a look at what we're running now. I'm opening up poor temperature. Oh, and look, we're in the pretty much the low 50s. Right around 50 degrees. So we were running right around 60 before, so that's about a 10 degree Celsius change. That's equivalent um, to about. Probably about 15 degrees, maybe a little bit more. Now let's take a look at what our maximum uh, time is. I'm going to go ahead and open up. Uh, you can't see it's over here on the second screen, but I'm running the video again. Let's run the protein folding. Let's turn down the sound on that one. Alright, the folding protein is running, and then we're also going to run the music program.
All right, so we saw about a 15, 18 degrees Fahrenheit difference between the at rest temperature. And let's take a look now here, we're under load. We're running around 71, 72, around 70 degrees. Let's just say around low 70s compared to what we were running before, uh, low 80s. Difference of, if we convert that, that's around 27 degrees uh, Fahrenheit difference from before. So we see about an 18 degree difference at rest and 27 degree difference under load. Now actually running in the 60s, low 70s. So uh, substantial difference, especially at the top end when we're uh, got the computer under about 50% load. Big difference in temperature. So that's, that translates into a good thing for the CPU and other components, including the hard drives in the computer, uh, leading to a longer life and uh, better usage time out of your computer. So hopefully you find that helpful uh, if you decide to clean out your computer and get some of that yucky dust out and allowing it to last longer and run cooler. Thanks for watching. Uh, share it with your friends. Leave a comment or a question below uh, if you have any kind of questions. Alright, thanks for watching.